Hello, this is a short introduction to using graphics in Python. Particularly, we'll be using Turtle Graphics. So, what is Turtle Graphics? It's a library that you can download and install into your Python. It probably comes with Python 3.3 version that we're going to show you examples of. And this is a turtle. And you have a screen and it moves around according to the commands you type for Python. And as it moves around, it, you can draw lines. It's particularly easy to learn, so that's why we're showing it. And you can do pretty complicated stuff using turtle library. So first thing you need to do is import turtle. And you can see what's inside the turtle library by saying dirt turtle. And the first example you can say turtle dot circle with 100. Size 100. So it draws a circle of size 100. Okay, that's the example. Now let's look at something complicated. So we have a random walk. The turtle walks from here and it walks till here and it changes color as it walks in this rectangle so how do we do it so we need to import two libraries uh, first of all this is a we, uh, in, C in the windows console we cat the program it's random walk dot pi that's a python program and it starts with bang hash bang python 3 that means the interpreter that can run this is python 3 needed to run this code that tells a bash shell if you're using bash in this case we're using command.com first thing you do is import turtle and random then you define your screen you create a screen w and window and then you give it color mode 255 so 255 colors then the speed you set it to zero so it'll go fast then you do it for i in range uh till thousand then what you do is you go f and this is a for loop and it's indented so you can see this much is a for loop so you say for uh, first you move turtle dot forward so it moves from here forward by five then it makes a random turn left turn by how many you whatever random number you get you multiply by 180 and subtract 90 so it's plus or minus 90 degrees so it moves left or right by in this angle so and then you change your color turtle dot color you pick i i is this i i mod 255 i plus 100 mod 255 i plus 200 mod 255 so what you get is red blue and green of which keep changing color as you move forward so it's consistently changing color it's not random but it follows it goes up but some order like this purple to uh, blue green to blue and then you after you had this loop you do fire the loop you say window dot, dot main loop and this is the code then you run it by saying python 33 python.exe and randomwalk.pi because the shell doesn't the command.com doesn't know how to run python programs so let's look at example this is a hilbert curve so what is the special about hilbert curve it's a space filling curve what it means is it's recursively defined and it's taken from wikipedia as you can see and you start with uh, this much and then what you do is recursively for each side again you make another Hilbert curve and then again for each side you make another Hilbert curve and eventually what happens is every point on in that rectangle is covered by the curve so it's a one dimension ob uh, two dimension object that gets filled up using a line so that's why it's called a Hilbert face filling curve so here's an example of it It's a GIF file. And Sierpinski triangle is similar. It's a recursively constructed triangle. And each triangle is similar to the larger triangle out here. And you can keep zooming into it and it keeps looking like the same triangle. And basically you make, uh, take this triangle, make three copies of it and, and one inverted triangle. And you can use different colors. So you start with blue, then you can change to green, then red, and then repeat it again as you zoom in so let's see what happens so this is a triangle animation and you can zoom in no matter how much you zoom in it looks the same and this is a coach flake and this is also called a fractal fractal that is property of cell similar no matter how much you zoom in it looks the same it, and that's, a, that's what a coastline looks like also in geography so let's look at how the coordinate transformations work in geometry simple explanation so given a point x1 y1 and one is the dummy point uh, variable 
So vector P is a point, you define where is vector, we can translate it by uh, Tx and Ty and this is a matrix. If you multiply this point with this matrix, you get a new point, that's translation. If you multiply it by Sx, Sy and 1, it gets scaled by Sx and Sy. This x1 and xy get scaled. You can even rotate the point x1, y1 by using the sine, or cos sine uh, matrix, this rotation matrix. And you can look it on Wikipedia. And the second thing is that you can combine multiple operations into a single matrix because ma matrix multiplication is associative. You want to rotate it twice and scale it and translate it. You, you put all operations together and you get a single matrix. You know, so you don't have to multiply multiple matrices for each tr uh, transformation. So let's see what all you can do with it. So one thing you can do with it is to draw wallpaper. What is wallpaper patterns? So basically it was discovered many years ago, a few centuries ago, that number of different possible tilings of the space, uh, two dimension space, is only 17 different tilings are possible. These are symmetric uh, tilings and you can see them in Alhambra and many architecture and these are things you can look on Wikipedia for exact reason why they are different. Here is a classification of the 17 wallpaper groups and you can use a turtle graphics to draw these guys and they have names. I will not go into them because you can just read upon Wikipedia. And But the thing is Roger Penrose discovered tilings which are not periodic that means you, you can't just translate and get the same thing. They look different at different scales. So you start like this, then you scale up, zoom in, zoom in, zoom in, and it's it's not uh, translatable, so it's not periodic. There are many of them. Again, you can look on Wikipedia. And the other thing you can do with uh, for your graphics is something called a Bezier curve. So drawing curves is quite a difficult task and using interpolation. So there's this formula by Bezier which says basically you can draw a curve using four points. So anchor, the two anchor points, one and two, and two control points. And the position of the, the control point defines the curvature of the curve. So this is like this and if you move the, uh, the control this side it goes this way. If you move the control points outside it, it becomes uh, fatter. And if you move one control point this side, one control point this side, it becomes a S. And again, it has a simple formula, which is an interpolation formula using the four points, P0, P1, P2, P3, and then using the uh, the parameter T. And the point, this is defined from um, T equal to 0 to T equal to 1. And again, this is from Wikipedia. And you can find the formula in a lot of places. You can you can draw it in Python. So you can write a routine called Bezier curve using cubic interpolation, and you give it the the four points, and it will draw this line. And for homework, what you can try is using Python three three uh, and turtle graphics, draw something recursively. So you have an H figure, and at each point again you have an H figure, again H figure. And to make it slightly interesting, you can perturb it slightly randomly, move the H slightly so it's not it's not cluttered in one single spot, and it shows up as slightly randomized. Okay, and if you're interested in more into fractals and stuff, you can look at L systems, and there are many things you can draw with Python. Thank you.